Watching the main character of Exterminator 2 in this cheesy ass action flick from the 80s, torching people with a flamethrower gives me a warm spicy feeling of happiness. Most of the time in Exterminator 2, we get to watch Mario Van Peebles and his cult of gang riddled jackasses tie a cop to a subway track and get flattened. Some degenerate on roller skates kidnaps some random women to force them against their will to shoot up heroin. With this powder, I control the streets. Good. Next, we set up a meeting with them. Then we wipe out all competition. You did well, my friend. Listen to terrible synth scored riffage while John and his pal peruse the city in his modified garbage truck and snuff some gutter trash along the way. that action flicks were still being made like this these days where any sort of over-the-top aggression is acceptable no matter how violent and extreme it may be look at this shit man thirteen dollars is no change fucking bro watch ain't nothing to brag about it's phony cut here 
Okay. Let's go. You see the look on her face when we put it through her? <laughs> Damn, that was good. Yeah. I like it when the faces go crazy like that. Like they think the world's gone psycho and there's no way out. Nothing you can do about what happened to Cal. Maybe. Maybe not. Watching bottom feeding scum getting charcoaled into human toast is just something that I needed in my life recently, and I feel like a more complete person for partaking in it. I want to extend my hand in thanks to you, Canon Group, for taking the time to distribute the sequel to the original Exterminator, because that means more flamethrowers, more dickheads on roller skates, and more junky turd fucks getting crushed by the compactor in the back of a garbage truck. I love the world that I live in. Burning up the city with a flamethrower. I wish I had the balls to have a flamethrower just lying around in the living room. Hunk a hunk of burning love. You know you're ready for the apocalypse when one of your main guys is on roller skates. Get down with shitty 80s dance music and some free beer from the local watering hole. Yeah, it's gonna be on in a minute. Let me have a beer, will you? Go right away. Yeah. What do you think about that? You got time to think about it. For a job. And everybody needs work. You are the messiah of what? The toe cutter? Lord Humongous? Thunderdome? I am declaring war! Yeah. My destiny and yours is to fight for what should be ours. ours. And to die if we ours. must in the pursuit of that cause. It's ours. Yeah, yeah. I am the Messiah, and you are my warriors. Yeah. I like that. Together we should take what I want. Flare guns can't be that accurate. The sacrifice of a pig.
hooker says looking for a date honey uh, the exterminator says I'm not that hungry Looking for a date, honey. Ain't that hungry. This ass clown needs to knock it off with those roller skates. <laughs> Drinking and driving. That's the ticket to 80s romance. <laughs> hey, look, I want to make a toast. <laughs> the partnership. And friendship. Right. Mm. Sometimes I wish that all you needed to get in a chick's pants was booze in a car. Wait, sometimes that is all you need. The universal key to undoing a woman's pants is liquor. I'm seriously starting to get off track here. If what you need at this very moment is watching John donning a welding helmet, a backpack full of jelly gas, and a military-grade ignition source cooking some Terran toast, then by all means, Exterminator 2 is for you, my friend. Mario Van Peebles as X was an excellent choice, and he played the main villain with a precision that I haven't seen in any kind of film in quite some time. He was just a nasty bastard, and it fit the context of the film perfectly. You just wanted him to get whacked when the time was right, and boy, at the very end, the time was really right. Now I'm just starting to feel hot under the collar. I'm going to stop this review right now. There. Is anybody there?